Yesterday marked the start of severe weather awareness week here in Tennessee. This comes after reports of thunderstorms and tornadoes in some parts of the state late last week. Well, team and the National Weather Service teaming up to ask Tennesseans to make severe weather planning and preparedness a priority. Reporter Ella Wales gives us more insight into this week and what to expect. There are a few features of the Awareness Week that may affect you, including a statewide tornado just, drill. Oh, I talked to Tima to find out what all is in store for this week and WATE meteorologist Ken Weathers to see what kind of severe weather threats we face here in East Tennessee. And this is a great opportunity for all Tennesseans to review your tornado safety plan. Maggie Hannon with Tima says not to be alarmed if you hear tornado sirens Wednesday. For the, the seaward tornado drill, that also includes a test of the NOAA weather radios. So you may hear um, the EAS sound. And this is a test of the network. It's just a way to encourage folks to be prepared and to review their tornado plan ahead of severe weather. WATE Chief Meteorologist Ken Weather says there is a higher risk of severe weather in East Tennessee from around March to May. Those are when you're starting to see your biggest changes in your air masses. Spring, we're going from winter to summer. It's that transition period. Like I said, you have that cooler, drier air meets with the warmer, more humid air. That sets up the stage for the severe weather threat. While we've certainly seen tornadoes hit East Tennessee over the years, you're more likely to see damage here from straight line winds. Damaging wind gusts definitely our most common threat that we have here in East Tennessee. Usually we get a squall line, which is just a line of thunderstorms that moves through the area. But sometimes what we see is along that line, you can get little spin ups or brief tornadoes that do form so they can do just as much damage. Tima is also encouraging people to prepare an emergency kit that can be used in case of severe weather or any other disaster. Some things that we may include in our emergency preparedness kit are food, uh, water, batteries, phone charger. There's a lot of great ideas um, on our website as well as ready.gov slash kit. Hannon also said it's important to have a tornado plan for anywhere you spend time, including home, school, and work. Bo? All right, Ella, thank you very much. And again, the statewide tornado drill takes place at 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Also, one other note to pass along real quick before we talk to Ken. Hancock County Schools going to be on a two-hour delay tomorrow. Okay. So, all right, pass that along. No worries as far as any severe weather no, here. No, quiet. Yeah. It's going to feel like spring, though, temperature-wise yeah, coming boy, up this week. Already warming up. And we, we talked about it last week that it looked like maybe Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, there would be an opportunity for yeah. some severe storms. That's not going to be the case. Rain, yes, but the severe threat... That's fine. Not looking like yeah. yeah, we'll take that. Yeah.